I recently recommended on my channel a right angle bulkhead pigtail adapter for your video transmitter and somebody in the comments said uh, that he thought that it had pretty bad insertion loss and that his range was significantly reduced when he was using it. And actually that, that wasn't too surprising to me, although I was disappointed to hear that it was true. Uh, right angle adapters often have high insertion loss uh, because getting the high frequency 5.8 gigahertz microwave signal to go around a sharp bend like that, uh, it, it usually results in loss. You generally want to keep bends in coaxial cable and high frequency RF signal cable as shallow as possible, uh, but those adapters have to be small enough that you know they fit in and, and so the bend can only be so shallow. So I thought I'd do a test here and compare uh, these different ones and see just how bad the loss is. So the three things I'm comparing are the right angle bulkhead pigtail cable that I recommended, but I've cut the uh, SMA connector off the end and I've direct soldered it to the video transmitter, okay? A, a regular straight bulkhead pigtail, uh, about 10 centimeters, so it's got a little bit of extra length compared to the, uh, the right angle. And it is also soldered straight to the video transmitter. And then I've got another one where I attach the antenna to the video transmitter using the regular connector, uh, but it's an RP, it, it's going through an RPSMA to SMA adapter. And the reason for that is that I, I only have SMA antennas, but this is an RPSMA video transmitter. By the way, this is a TS5823 video transmitter transmitted at 200 milliwatts. So that RPSMA adapter is also going to introduce some loss compared to directly connecting the antenna to the video transmitter. And by the way, if you ever see those guys, uh, like the Rotor Riot guys, and they've got the antenna sticking out the front of their goggles, and then it's sort of bent up at an angle, right? And you think, well, why don't they just use a right angle adapter, and it'll look so much neater. I mean, if you're like me, that's what you think. I think that. The reason is that those right angle adapters do have insertion loss. And so if you really want to maximize your range, you want as few adapters and, and right angle adapters, RPSMA adapters, et cetera, as possible. You want to minimize that. Everyone is just a little bit of additional loss. And maybe, maybe it's fine. Maybe you never notice. But yeah, a little bit, if you want to maximize your range, every little bit matters. So, okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the test. What I did here is I set the receiver up in the same place and I put the camera over my shoulder pointing backwards and I walked the same path for all three of these. And I've also tried to sync them up roughly uh, here, although I didn't walk at exactly the same speed. These white flashes that you're seeing, I wouldn't pay too much attention to. That's multipath and you can probably, I would pay more attention to where the signal starts to generally break up. For example, here you see a lot of multipath as I'm walking past the car and the truck. But if you're not flying in a place where there's a car and a truck right there, then you're not going to see that. Um, as I start to walk away, I also go downhill a little bit, and I intentionally tried to walk in a way that produced a lot of obstructions. And you can see that as I get to this point, I'm definitely getting some serious breakup. And the right angle bulkhead is the first one, I think, to like fully break up. Yeah, it sort of comes back, but it really seems like the worst. It's a hard for me to judge whether the soldered bulkhead or the RPSMA adapter are better or worse than each other. Let's go ahead back and take another look at that and see what we think. So now I'm playing this forward at half speed, and we can see that right about here is the first time that the right angle bulkhead like fully drops out. The soldered straight bulkhead and the RPSMA adapter kind of go back and forth, but it looks like the soldered straight bulkhead is overall hanging in a little better. The RPSMA has clear moments, but it seems to be dropping out a little more fully, whereas the soldered straight bulkhead usually seems to have a little bit of something that you might could fly through. It's pretty close between the two of them, though. And I think what we're seeing there is that the soldered straight bulkhead, a, a, a pigtail, has a little bit of coaxial cable to cause a little bit of additional loss, but it doesn't have the adapter. And then the adapter has the adapter, of course, which is causing some additional loss. And those two things are kind of roughly equal. Uh, it, it seems really clear to me, though, that the right angle bulkhead is worse. Now, how much worse is it? It's not like, it's, it doesn't seem to me like it's much worse, 
right? It's hard to judge, but it doesn't seem like it's much worse. So under some flight conditions, you might be okay with the slightly reduced range in exchange for maybe a neater, cleaner install. That's your call. The scenario we didn't test was an antenna directly connected to a connector without an adapter, and we would expect that to be a little better than the pigtail and the adapter because there's no length of cable and there's no adapter, so it's, it's, just, it's getting close to the best. And then the best coverage would probably be an antenna direct soldered to a board, but from a maintenance perspective, that's not ideal. If you feel confident soldering coaxial cable and you don't mind having to resolder a new antenna if you damage your antenna, then that would give you the absolute least amount of loss. Anyway, there you go. There's a little bit of data for you. You can go back that and watch it and judge for yourself. Make your own call. Hope that was helpful. Happy flying.